built on the shoulders of capitalism. The Metropolitan Museum of Art owes many of its treasures to the enormous wealth and generosity of America's captains of business and industry. And many of them, in fact, formed their collections with the Metropolitan in mind. Behind the splendid Fifth Avenue Beaux-Arts facade, beyond the majestic Great Hall, between the brilliantly modern atrium wings, is the Met of the 19th century. After J.P. Morgan's death in 1913, Robert Weeks de Forest, Autumn's great-great-granduncle, was elected president of the Met. De Forest oversaw the first major expansion of the museum since its opening. The American wing was his great vision. It was the world's first showcase for the growing body of truly American artwork. Robert Weeks de Forest changed the face of the Met. His gifts and generosity to the institution include the iconic bank facade that forms the foundation of the great atrium itself. As I walked through the museum, looking at paintings that have been talked about over generations, I was stunned by how many times I saw my family's name. I was honored and I was humbled. DeForest's great contributions to the Metropolitan Museum of Art may be best documented at the foot of the Grand Staircase. Here, accompanied by the names of the great luminaries of the 19th century, Robert Weeks DeForest and his wife Emily's names are inscribed. I did not begin my journey into art because of my family's history. But now that I know it, I am inspired.